It's been a record-setting breeding season for the endangered Hawaiian crow. The Hawaii Endangered Bird Conservation Program says the alala population grew 25 percent during this year's breeding season. KITV4's Jody Leong has that story. There were only about 20 Hawaiian crows or alala in existence in the early 1990s, but the birds are on their way back. The Hawaii Endangered Bird Conservation Program out of the San Diego Zoo's Institute for Conservation Research is spearheading the effort. Program manager Richard Schweitzer says teams are applying species-intensive care and using captured breeding and reintroduction to restore the alala population. The birds are being kept in aviaries throughout the year. But when the breeding season starts, we do a lot of uh, video monitoring where we're doing behavioral analysis to monitor the activity of the breeding pairs. And that helps the teams decide which birds to pair up and which ones to separate. 19 chicks were born during this year's breeding season. 11 chicks were born last year. They're being cared for in a regimented hand-rearing regime between 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. daily. And the chicks are living in a temperature-controlled environment where care teams are hand-feeding the chicks a special diet. But there are challenges. Schweitzer says they've been working with a challenge gene pool and have seen many embryos die during the incubation process. Still, the program has surpassed expectations. And with this level of reproductive success, when the alala was on the brink of extinction... It enables us to be able to put together release cohorts of, uh, of young alala to send back out into the wild so that we can reestablish the species. It, it really has been... Quite a fantastic achievement for us. Jody Leon, KITV4 News. Switzer hopes to release the first group of Alala into the wild within two years.